You know, in the old days, it used to be, oh, get on the plane, come on, get on the plane. Oh, what's that? Oh, that's a gun. Okay, get on the plane. <laughs> now it's hardcore, you know, it's yeah. basically, they, they take away everything from you. you know, first of all, you, if, you, if you're having meat on the plane, you don't have a knife, because that could be a weapon. So it's like, it's like the quest for fire flight. You know? <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. <laughs> And they take away things like nail clippers because that could be turned into a weapon. What do they think? You're going to be going, open the cockpit door! <laughs> or the bitch loses a hangnail! <laughs> Come on! It's, you know, they had. You all right, coach? <laughs> so, oh, dear God! Um, and I grew up, you know, I live in San Francisco, so when you go through the metal detector there, there are some pierced people there. You know? <laughs> Take out your keys. Oh, tip of the iceberg. <laughs> you know, it's a bizarre thing. You know? When you see a, a girl with a pierced tongue, I asked this girl, I said, why did you pierce your tongue? And she said, it increases the sexual stimulation. <laughs> yeah. It was three me. That's all right, my darling. Don't be afraid. <laughs> Something simple. <laughs> But the security is tight now. Yeah, it's, 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 it's a bizarre right. thing. And we now have, you know, the Office of Homeland Security, which is, uh, you know... What's that? Well, it's basically in America, it's, it's to uh, watch over and warn us when things bad are going to happen. Because every so often, Rumsfeld comes out and goes, I don't know where. I don't know when. But something awful is going to happen. That's all for today. No further questions. It's like, what is it, the Central Intuitive Agency? <laughs> I'm getting a feeling of a man wearing a shoe that hisses. <laughs> and well, all they've learned so far is what the FBI can share with us is beware of people who take flight school and are interested in takeoff and landing. Number one. <laughs> number two, anyone who gets on a, a, on a shoe, gets on a plane with a shoe that goes pfft. <laughs> warning, warning, you over there. And now people are wide awake on that. used to be on the, you know, the, the red-eye flight. They would get on the plane, take whatever ma medication they could, and wake up in Russia going, this isn't Cleveland. <laughs> and now they basically, everyone's wide awake looking for anyone ordering hummus. <laughs> Cleveland! You know, and they have, they have, you know, this thing of, they say there's no racial profiling, but... No. They, a little woman will come on, a sweet little southern stewardess, and go, ladies and gentlemen, before we get on flat five, I just want to read off a list of names. These are just, these are random bag checks. These are, these are totally random. And I'm just going to read off a list of names. Hassan bin Singh. Hassan bin Leh. Judy Smith. Fourteen Arabs and a blonde, and every black man and every Hispanic man in the room is going, thank you, God. We're all the list now, sweet Lord Almighty, go away now. And it's always a difficult thing because pilots are always, uh, you know, the pilots used to come on with that whole Chuck Yeager rap where they go, hey everybody, I've just had a few cocktails. Let's take this sucker down to the end of the runway and see what it'll do. Now they come on, they're very loving and they go, hey, I love all of you. Stewardess comes out and goes, in case of a cabin seizure, a small Louisville slugger will fall from the ceiling. Grab with both hands, aim for the, the assailant's head, knees and groin, and keep hitting. <laughs> well, basically, it's home defense, just like you had during World War II. Well, you mean Dad's Army? Yes, Dad's, Dad's, Army. Dad's Army. Old men with a colostomy bag That's and a pitchfork. <laughs> I captured Rudolf Hess personally. I threw my colostomy bag and covered him in shite. Go! Get out of that fucker. And I'm talking about the plane. Go! Step away. Oh, God. Is it true? I... What? <laughs> Is it true that Winston Churchill was sometimes so drunk that they had a guy from the BBC do some of his favorite that's speeches? That's apparently the, the, really? been reported. Really? It that's one of the guy who did that's... Winnie the Pooh. That's a... <laughs> so he was going, we will fight him on the beaches in the air. On the land, Eeyore and Tigger. <laughs> but God bless her. You have, God bless, well, you have Tony Blair uh, now, sir. Yeah, we do. We God bless. Indeed. Uh, and you have President Bush. Uh, yes. We all. Oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> Let's drink a full one. Oh, there he is. A mighty man.